How to Tech bringing you the reassembly on this Moto X Pure. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is put our rear camera back in. We're going to go ahead and insert this into the connector slot. Then we're going to need to pop down the little door connector here. You want to make sure it sits nice and flat. With that done, we can go ahead and put our tape back on top of it. Just being careful not to damage any of the little bits on the board there. We're just going to place it over the latch on the back of the camera connector there. Now we're going to go ahead and take our display portion and insert the board right in between. We want to make sure that these ribbon cables go through the correct slot. So see the uh, IC or the touch cables up and to the right and then the display cable is making sure it lines up the slot down below. The real goal is to make sure that all these little pins fit in the bottom. Your board should sit nice and flush. You shouldn't see a lot of it trying to pull up. And you want to make sure the screw hole lines up down here at the bottom of the phone. We're going to go ahead and put this screw in real fast. That will help secure the board in place while we go ahead and reassemble the rest of it. Now that we have uh, that portion done, we can go ahead and we're going to just kind of seat everything, make sure the top's snapped in correctly up here. Perfect, there we go. Now we can go ahead and take our front-facing camera and put it back in its slot, and then we'll connect its ribbon cable back onto the logic board as well. Now you want to make sure you line this up correctly, and you want to give it a little bit of pressure but not being extremely forceful with it. I'm going to bend our display cable back in and push it as far as it will go, and we'll shut the latch on this ribbon cable connector as well. Let's go ahead and take the tape that we have here and put it on top of the cable connector. Perfect. Then we can take our touch sensor and we're going to snap it back into place. Now it may be a little loose on the adhesive on top of the SIM card slot and that's okay. I'll uh, just try to get it to stick in its place. Let's snap that back on there. Perfect. It should have enough just to sit on there. We're just going to reseat our camera back in there make sure it's nice and snug. Alright. We're looking pretty good for the back of the phone, the display portion. We're just going to reassemble the back here. We're going to put the battery back in its place. So we're going to seat it in with the battery connector cut out. You can see that it's a round piece down here. Now it is an, a, a rounded battery, so you want to make sure you put it in correctly. You want to make sure that it's equal on both sides in spacing and that it sits almost snug right in place on the back. So we can kind of check the connector cutout window here and make sure it's going to fit which we shouldn't have a problem with. It looks like everything is going to be perfect for us. Now with that done, uh, you can just make sure this lines up. We shouldn't have a problem. You can just check it before you put all of the screws in the back. So we're going to take our back piece and we're going to slide the top portion of the phone on first. So we'll take it and we'll put it over the front camera portion and kind of try to get everything lined up on the front of the phone here. It'll be a little bit tricky we may have to put it down just a little bit flatter and then work our way back. We're going to try to snap the two connectors in on the back here as well. Alright, now it may not hold, so we're going to put a couple of screws in just to make sure that we're getting it into where we want it to be. Put our first one in just right down here by the snap connector and then we'll put another one in on the opposite side and that'll help hold the phone together. Alright. Now with that done, it may not be extremely close and that's, that's fine. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the cables and snap them back into their connectors here. This one for the power button flash cable. This can be a little bit tricky to make sure you line up. Let's just put the battery one back in here real quick, and then I'll grab a spudger and help me put that top one back in. So the battery one just goes in right straight on top. Let's push it right back on. And then for the top button, we may have to use a spudger down here just to stamp it in. We're going to do the same thing with this one. We can use a spudger to help us line it up. So the cable sits a little bit further back. So we're going to push it into place and then snap it down. There we go. Now what you can do at this point is test everything. You want to make sure that the phone is fully functional, that your Bluetooth, that your Wi-Fi, everything functions like it should uh, before you put all the screws back in and put the back on the phone. Now we're going to go ahead and put all the remaining screws in. Uh, this will take just a few seconds, but uh, if you put them in as we go, you won't miss any 
uh, steps as we move forward. So we're going to start on the left side and just work our way up and around. And the all one I always seem to forget is the inset screw up here at the top. So don't forget that one as you're putting all these screws in. Now remember, they do have a little tiny bit of locker on them, so you don't have to put them in extremely tight. In fact, you probably don't even have to put them in as tight as they were when you first took them out. That was, those were in there really tight. I uh, just want to get them pretty snug in their uh, screw holes, and that'll hold your phone together. So we're just going to work our way around. We're getting about close to halfway here. And then work our way down the right side. A few more to go. A little tricky. Now don't worry, I will go back and put that one in that I just skipped. There we go. All right, four more. Oh, sorry, five more. I always find it easier to put the screw on the end of the screwdriver first and then put it in. That way you don't fiddle with it in the, the hole or they fly out and they get lost in the carpet. That's always terrible. All right, just two more. And the indented one up here at the top to the left of the camera. Maybe, if it wants to go back in there. Oh, it's being a little bit tricky. All right, here we go. This will be the one. All right. Put our grommets back in, and it's a little tricky in how these actually fit in. So the longer portion uh, fits in towards the left side. It'll be kind of contoured, so you'll see the leg that sticks down further. You'll put that in on the left side of the phone on both of the two grommets. It's almost like a puzzle piece. There we go. All right, just going to check around the edge and make sure there's no issues with it, and it's nice and solid onto the frame. I'm just going to go ahead and scrape all this tape off. I'm going to move all of the tape, residual tape on here uh, that you can before we start putting the new tape down. Uh, so just work your way around the phone. Maybe use some isopropyl alcohol if you have any uh, residual tape mess on there that you can't get off. Make sure you remove all the tape from the back of your uh, back cover as well. So here we have all of our tape removed. We're using some uh, 5mm width 3M double-sided tape. I'll put a link to this uh, in the description of the video as well. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and run it all the way around the back. Now, it doesn't have to be the exact same pattern that it had on the phone. Really, the goal is, is that you just get uh, adhesion of the back cover, uh, and you need a lot of tape to make sure it's not going to come back off. So I'm just going to run this down in strips. Um, we'll do a, a perimeter edge first, just down each side of the phone. Nice straight lines, and it's okay to cover up a little bit of the ribbon cable. Uh, if you just take the phone apart again, just be very careful when you remove it off of that spot. 
Uh, normally the tape won't damage the cable at all, but just be aware of that if you start to disassemble it again. We're going to contour the corners down here at the bottom. Uh, this is a fairly important part. You want to make sure that your tape lines up correctly uh, in the edge. Like I was saying, don't worry about covering up that ribbon cable. So we've got it contoured into the shape, a little bit of the shape of the phone down here. And that way when we put the back cover on, that corner stays down. Now, if you uh, use a trick here, you want to contour this other side. We're just going to cut it a little bit shorter. Contour the opposite side that we're going to put back on the phone here. And then uh, we'll cut it to fit the back of the phone. That way you're not trying to guess the length of the device there. Perfect. And a little bit of a gap is just fine. Any uh, leftover bits, just hold on to. You can just put those on uh, different portions of the phone. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the top of the device here real fast. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. So what we're going to do in this top portion is just angle the tape a little bit because it's contoured up here. We'll do the other edge. All right, now we're just going to put strips of tape down uh, the side of the phone here, just right above the battery. We're not going to cover up any of the uh, slots here, though, so you want to be careful. And any of the big ribbon cable, it didn't originally have tape there, so we're not going to put any tape over it. And we don't want to put any tape over the cutout for the dimple portion of the phone. Uh, so just make sure you don't cover that up. Just run it a little bit shorter right through here. Perfect. I'm just going to put a few more pieces down the side. And I'm not going to cover up the length of this ribbon cable. Um, that is where the tear would happen if you're removing the back, if you have a, the whole ribbon cable covered up. As long as it's close to the connector, you should be just fine. And we'll do a little bit of tape above the cable as well, uh, since there was tape there beforehand. A little piece right in between. And then above the cable as well. Let's do a sideways piece here. Ah, it should be fine actually. Let's put a piece down here at the bottom and we'll take our leftover piece we had from before and we'll stick it down here as well. All right, now that is enough tape to make sure this back's not gonna pop off. So just use a sharp tool um, and go ahead and start pulling the backing off the tape. And what you want to do is make sure that the tape doesn't wrinkle as you try to pull it off. If you have any uh, pieces that kind of bubble up on the edge, uh, you may want to replace it if it starts to pull up. You don't want to have any ridges on the back of your phone. Uh, that might want to make it pull up. So right there, I had a little bit. I just pushed it back down with my dental pick here. work our way down all right now with that done we're gonna take our dimple and put it on now if you wanted to you could put some adhesive around the edge of the dimple and then put your back on top of it I'm not going to uh, I think it'll be just fine So we're just gonna go ahead and align the top edges first get them lined up make sure the dimple is centered See, we've got a nice connection at the top. And we're going to work our fingers down the back of the phone and make sure the bottom fits in. And then we're just going to rub it all the way through the middle and around the sides. Anywhere we put tape, we want to make sure it gets adhesion. So give it some good force on there and just replace that back on there. We don't want it to pop off uh, at any other time. Now, the dimple seemed a, a little bit wiggly, uh, not much to worry about. So if you wanted to put some tape on there, you can do so, but I'm not going to stress it at all. All right, now with that done, 
and it's nice and adhered. What you can do is go ahead and power on your phone and make sure the thing's still going to function properly for you. I'm not stressing it. Uh, we got this repair done. If you have any questions, throw those down in the comments. you want to see future repair videos, hit me up and subscribe me. Uh, I'd appreciate that. If you found the video useful, hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.